How you doing? My name's Jeremy Jones. I'm a professional snowboarder and here at the O'Neill Evolution in Davos, Switzerland. So Jeremy, you're one of the test animals with the Philips O'Neill uh, headset series. So how, yes. did you, how did you get into this thing? Well, I was, um, I'm pretty hard on equipment and especially headphones and I was uh, always breaking them and I heard about that um, O'Neill had teamed up with Philips to make these unbreakable headphones and uh, so I've enjoyed the last uh, two years trying to break headphones but I'm not winning. <laughs> what products are you using so far? Um, I use a lot the stretch. Uh, it's really comfortable and uh, great for what I need with headphones. A busy guy like yourself, do you actually have time to, to listen to music? You, you must right. be competing a lot and you're, you're practicing a lot, you're out and about a lot. So when do you listen to music? Yeah, I listen to music um, you know, when I'm traveling. I have music playing the whole time, so I travel quite a bit. and. Uh, and just um, downtime, use it to relax. Did you have a chance to check out some of the new gear or the upcoming headphones? I did, I checked out these new headphones and um, it's pretty cool because you know the stretch, when I got the stretch I was just so blown away by them and uh, it's amazing to see that you know their, the evolution continues and it's um, they just continue to blow my mind with the quality and durability of the products. So you were involved in the development of some of the products. So can, you, can you give us a little bit of information? Uh, yeah, I mean, the main thing that I've been involved in is, um, you know, I'm given headphones and basically just treat them like crap and try and break them. And, uh, and if there's any failure, then I let them know. But uh, surprisingly, it held up really well. So you're the pain in the butt to the engineers then? I, no, that's what I'm saying. I've been losing. I, I thought that I could um, break these headphones, but I'm really not doing a good job testing them because they keep passing the test. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. You're welcome.